Welcome to the Daily Race. And we're wrapping up the, the book of First John here today, and uh, we're doing so with one final caution that John gives his uh, his disciples, these uh, uh, members of, of the churches that he's sending this this letter to. So let's uh, let's talk about caution here for a second. Think back to, to when uh, you had little kids, or maybe you're around little kids for a while. Now, we would put all types of boundaries around kids because we're afraid of them getting hurt. You know, the stove. The stove is off limits. You're not allowed to go near the stove. <clears throat> You're not allowed to touch the stove. The stove is dangerous. Don't touch it. The stairs. Stairs. Keep the kids, keep the little toddlers, keep the babies away from the stairs because it's dangerous. Uh, you, you could get hurt. You could fall down. We put up all of these boundaries around stoves and stairs and, uh, and, and knives and you know kitchen utensils, all that stuff. But at some point, my kids, well, they use the stairs every day, up and down the stairs. They cook. They cook all the time. They, they use that stove. But sometimes I think they use the stove more than we do because they eat a lot. Like not only do they eat, like when they get home, they cook themselves something. And then somewhere around 11 o'clock at night, there's another cooking show happening in our, in our house. Uh, they use the stove. They use knives. They use all of these things to to cook, to, to, to do stuff. Things that were off limits are, are now on limits. Why? Because they learned to use them properly, right? They, they, they grew up. They, they were able to, uh, to navigate the stairs on their own. They're able to use the stove on their own, use kitchen utensils on their own. It's, it's not dangerous for them anymore because they know the proper place for it. We're going to read this passage here today. And when we're not talking today about stoves, we're not talking about stairs, we're talking about sin that can trap us up. And you know what? As we grow older, even though there's certain things that we realize that we can handle, that we can handle in moderation, we do know how we can be around certain things and not get sucked into them, we also realize that in our lives, there are certain things where we have some weaknesses. And we have some things that just stay off limits forever. Let me read what it says here today. It says this, And we know that the Son of God has come. And that he has given us, or let me back up a little bit. We know that God's children do not take, make a practice of sinning. For God's son holds them securely, and the evil one cannot touch them. For we know that we are children of God, and that the world around us is under, is under the control of the evil one. And we know that the Son of God has come, and that he has given us understanding so that we can know the true God. And now we live in fellowship with the true God, because we live in fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ. He is the only true God, and he is and he and he is eternal life. Back to the gospel. It's Jesus. Faith and trust in him. This world run by Satan, run by the evil one. We're not of the world, we're of Jesus. Very last sentence here. Dear children, keep away from anything that might take God's place in your heart. <laughs> keep away from anything that might take God's place in your heart. One final word of caution is talking about sin, and sin has, has no place in, in the life of a believer, uh, that because of Jesus we're forgiven. It gives us this final warning, stay away from anything that might take God's place in your heart. A word of caution, that there are some things that as you've matured in your relationship with God, as you've matured as an adult, that you can, you can handle. You can be around certain things. You can participate in certain things. I'm not talking about sinful things, but the things that, that could tempt you to, to go into sin. The things that, that could draw you in further. But it's not an issue for you in those areas. It's okay to stand there. But, but as we mature, we realize that there are certain things that we're susceptible to. Certain things that, that can capture our heart. That can draw us away from God. And the warning for that, just keep away from that stuff. Keep away from that. The hard thing is it's different for everyone. You see, we get into to legalism when we just make blanket rules. Everyone has to, you know, follow by these guidelines so you stay far away from sin. But, but some people honestly don't struggle with it. You know, when it comes to, to alcohol, there are some people that, that struggle with alcohol and they need to stay completely away, with it, away from it. Because if they, if they participate, they very quickly find it consuming and, and taking over control of their life. But there are a lot of people that have no issue with it. They can have a, a little bit of alcohol and, and that's it. And it's, it's not something that, that pulls them in. 
Maybe we can do this with the things that we see with our eyes, the places that we go, the type of work that we do. There are some people that have no problem in, in a corporate environment with that structure of moving up, that they can navigate that, that they can be in that environment, they can get promotions or not promotions, and it doesn't capture their heart of this achieving, of this uh, pursuing wealth and that being the hope in their life. But there are some people that, that do get sucked into that, that do have a hard time make, creating that line, that, that boundary of materialism and desire and wealth. So they need to step back in different areas. Now, once again, this is for each person. That's why John makes it generic here. He doesn't say, so do this, 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 to stay away from letting things capture your heart. No, no, he says, keep away from anything that might take God's place in your heart. What are the things in, that are, you're susceptible to that can very easily take the place of God in your heart? Is it, is it a substance? Is it a place? Is it a desire? Is it a philosophy? What is it? And make those boundaries yourself. The goal isn't to get as close to the edge of the cliff as possible. How close can I get? If you know what's something you struggle with, how close can I get without falling over? No, no, no. You, you back away from the cliff. <laughs> you create some margin. You know that if you're going to fall, I don't want to get anywhere close to the falling over that. Create some space. Keep away, <laughs> as he says, keep away from anything that may might take God's place in your heart. Those are John's final words here in, the, in this letter. And it isn't like Paul's letters where it ends up with a bunch of greetings, with a bunch of, you know, by the ways. It's just to the point. Don't forget this. Let me say it one more time. Dear children, keep away from anything that might take God's place in your heart. A way to greet, word of caution, word of advice, as John wraps up this letter here today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you today. And we don't want anything to take your place in our heart. We want you to be the most important thing in our lives. We want to seek you first in everything that we do. But God, we know that that's also a decision we need to make and remake every single day. There are things that, that crowd in. There are temptations that, that come up. God, help us to be wise in, in those areas. God, may your Holy Spirit guide us and give us discernment. So we're not fighting the same battle every day, but we create some margin. We create some space between the things that so easily entangle us and, and, and our daily lives. God, help us to, to live in ways that, that, that honor you, that keep you first, and create some boundaries. Lord, we love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right. Well, hey. I hope you have a great, great rest of the day. I look forward to seeing you 24 hours from now right back here on the next Daily Race. Love you guys.